How's it going, everybody? ASMR Fanatic here, and tonight I will be reviewing Hard to Kill 2024. So, without further ado, let's get started. And kicking things off with the pre show, first matchup, we had a Rich Swan versus Steve Macklin. And this was pretty good, not bad at all. Um, to be honest, I almost forgot that Rich Swan existed. <laughs> um, it's been a while since he's been in WWE. What was it like? 2017, 2018, I don't know, but that's the last time I, I saw him, but, um, yeah, he can still go, but, yeah, I, I think he's a piece of shit, given what he did to his wife all those years ago, but, anyways, uh, yeah, good match, and next up, we had a tag team match, as we had the team of Eddie Edwards and Brian Myers versus Eric Young and Frankie Kazarian, and this was another pretty good match, uh, it was kind of odd seeing, Eddie Edwards, Eric Young, and Frankie Kazarian on the pre-show. Uh, Kurt Hawks is fine, or Brian Myers. He can stay on the pre-show for all I care. <laughs> but anyways, um, yeah, you would think that, you know, given they are pretty big names in the TNA universe, they would be on the, on the main show, but they weren't. But, yeah, whatever. And for the last match on the pre-show, we had Tommy Dreamer versus Crazy Steve um, in a new DQ match for the Digital Media Championship and this, this was fun, short, but fun. Uh, I kind of hesitated there because there were some dumb spots in this match, like when uh, Tommy Dreamer shoved the trash down Steve's mouth or when Crazy Steve put kitchen utensils inside Tommy Dreamer's shirt, like forks, knives, spoons. I was like, eh. yeah, I wasn't a big fan of that, but... Um, yeah, man, I gotta tell you about these new TNA talent designs. They are so good. Like, dare I say, some of the best in the business right now. Like, yeah, kudos to you, TNA. Great job. And the switch of things on over to the main card. We had a knockout Ultimate X match. As we had Tasha Steeles versus Alicia Edwards versus Giselle Shaw versus Jody Threat versus Zion Brookside versus Danny Luna. And as expected, this was good. Um, I enjoy pretty much every Ultimate X match, or the ones I've seen so far, at least. Um, but yeah, these women worked hard. Um, some pretty cool spots in this match, too. And um, I didn't know who half of these women, women were. Um, I've only heard of, ever heard about Giselle Shaw, Zion Brookside, and Judy Threat. But um, yeah, all involved were impressive, so... Honestly, no real complaints for me. And next up, we had PCO versus Dirty Dongo. And this was so bizarre. What did I just watch? <laughs> okay, um... Well, first and foremost, this match ended by DQ, so... Yeah, big waste of time here. So, what happened is that... Um, PCO was about to win, but then... Um, this guy named Alpha Bravo, he cost PCO the match by grabbing PCO's leg... While he was doing a moonsault, but PCO still went ahead and did the moonsault, and he almost broke his neck, so <laughs> there's that. And so the match ended, but then Santino Morella, uh, yeah, I know, uh, came out and then made this match a six-man tag match. So now it was PCO, Rhino, and Jake something, who still has the worst name ever in wrestling. Versus Dirty Dongo, Alpha Bravo, and <laughs> Vladimir Kozlov, who goes by a different name now, but I don't even know what it was because I don't care to know what it is. But yeah, Vladimir Kozlov, TNA, I am trying to take you guys seriously. <laughs> I don't know. I don't know. And after that, we had a non advertised match. For the TNA Knockouts World Tag Team titles, as we had Decay versus MK Ultra, and as you guys can see from the photo here, Decay won. <laughs> um, and this match was actually pretty good. I was surprised. Um, and the reason why I'm saying I was surprised is because I'm too used to female tag team matches sucking, thanks in part to WWE. But uh, no, I enjoyed this. So yeah, um, kudos to all these wrestlers involved here. And then we had a triple threat match for the TNA X Division Championship as we had the champion Chris Saban defending his title against Kushida and El Hijo del Vikingo. And 
and this was a damn good, damn good match here. And fast paced too, as expected. And yeah, just a very enjoyable match. It really took me back to the old X Division days from like 05, 06, 07. You know, just guys just busting their asses, pulling out all these insane moves to like pop the crowd. Um, so yeah, great stuff. I highly recommend you guys watch this match. And next we had Josh Alexander going one-on-one -on -one with Alex Hammerstone. And these are two guys I've been wanting to watch for a while now. Um, I've only ever heard about both of them. I've never seen them wrestle before, so, you know, what better way to watch them wrestle than to see them face each other. And this match was great. I love this match. Um, you know, I was impressed with both of them, like, right off the bat. Um, just both the damn good wrestlers, and, you know... Um, I like Josh, but Alex Hammerstone, dude is a beast. He just a powerhouse. Um, I'm sure WWE is like actively trying to like get him because um, I believe he is a free agent. I don't think TNA TNA has signed him yet. Um, so yeah, I bet WWE is like making a play for him right now. Um, you know, wherever he lands, he's just gonna excel in. Dude is that good. I definitely get the hype around him now. Um, but yeah, fantastic match here. I highly recommend you guys watch this as well. And then we had a four-way match for the TNA World Tag Team titles. As we had ABC defending their championships against the Rascals, the Rado Kid and Mike Bailey, and the Grizzled Young Veterans. And this was a lot of fun. Uh, very chaotic and a few botches um, here and there, but just a great time nonetheless. Um... And ABC is a very good team, by the way. Ace Austin and Chris Bay, very good. Actually, all teams involved here were um, impressive, but man, ABC, I like them a lot. Um, yeah, another match I recommend you guys checking out. TNA is on a roll here. And in the semi main event, we had for the TNA Knockouts World Championship, the champion Trinity defending her title against Jordan Grace. And this was, yet again, another great match. I really enjoyed this. And you know, Trinity, she's always been good. Um, AKA Naomi, I've always liked her. But Jordan Grace, man, wow. Um, I believe this is actually the first time I've seen her uh, wrestle in a match. And yeah, she impressed the hell out of me. Um, and she has changed so much, wow. <laughs> There's like not an ounce of fat left on her. Um, but yeah, like I said, great match. I'm very I also recommend you guys go out and watch this match as well. Um, oh, and I, I believe I saw something about Naomi or Trinity saying goodbye to the crowd once the match ended, and that she's on her way back to WWE, which if so, that's great news. Um, yeah, it'll be good to see Naomi again in WWE. Um, so yeah, once again, great match. And in the main event we had for the TNA World Championship, the champion Alex Shelley defending his title against Moose, who has a second worst name in wrestling behind Jake Something, but he is a good wrestler, and this was a damn good match. So, wow, DNA, damn, <laughs> ending on a streak of good matches here tonight. Very impressive. Um, but yeah, I like this match a lot. It told a good story about Alex Shelley targeting Moose's arm and Moose trying to make a comeback from that, and a lot of good spots in this match too, and there was one like really vicious headbutt from Moose to Alex Shelley, I was like, damn, it made like a loud sound too, like vicious, um, oh, and also, I don't know if either Moose is very tall or Alex Shelley is very short, but the size difference here, wow, um, but that didn't bother me, this was still a, a damn good match, um, so yeah, TNA ending the night on a high note, and we do in fact have a new TNA world champion, and his name, unfortunately, is Moose. And that will do it for my review of Hard to Kill 2024. And you know, besides PCO versus Dirty Dongo, and I guess Crazy Steve versus Tommy Dreamer, this was an almost flawless pay per view. Wow, I am. I would clap, but this is an ASMR video, but TNA, I'm proud of you guys. This was, wow, a lot of fun to watch. Um, man, damn, 
Um, I had the card right in front of me on Wikipedia, and just a lot of good matches here. Um, if I had to pick my favorite, ooh, um, I'd probably have to go with Josh Alexander versus Alex Hammerstone, but yeah, just those last five matches really, you know, wow, <laughs> that's all I could say. Um, so yeah, good job, TNA, and yeah, I think it is fair to say that TNA is indeed back. So, uh, that will do it for my review of Hard to Kill 2024. As always, hope you guys enjoyed, and let me know in the comments down below what you guys thought about this pay-per-view. And with all that being said, this has been the ASMR Fanatic, signing out.